Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture is titled Jupiter's Clouds in High Definition from Juno. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken by the Juno spacecraft last month as it flew in close to Jupiter. Now, the Juno spacecraft is in a polar orbit studying the polar regions of Jupiter. It's also in a highly elliptical orbit. So once every month or so, it zooms in close to Jupiter and studies it up close and then spends most of its time farther away, out in the distance away from Jupiter, still being able to study it, but not as up close as it does when it comes in. Now, that is because Jupiter has very strong radiation belts, which would be damaging to the electronic equipment of the spacecraft. So if it just went into a low orbit around Jupiter, it would not last a long time. So this is designed to allow it to get some up-close images, but not to spend a whole lot of time in close to Jupiter where the radiation is the strongest. Now, we find some very interesting things here. Most of what we've looked at with Jupiter was the equatorial regions. We see the belts and the zones, the darker and lighter areas that go across Jupiter. However, when we get to the polar regions, it's very different. The coloring is different and the structures are different. We don't see those bands going across. We see lots of individual storms. So Juno is telling us a lot more about Jupiter by being able to study these polar regions and to study them over a period of time. Now, when we look at Jupiter, again, we see the belts and the zones, and you can get some view of them here off to the edge, especially to the upper left side. We can start to see some of the lighter and darker areas there. But when we study the polar regions, we get a lot more of the blue colors and a lot more storms. Now, we see some storms on the other. The Great Red Spot is a prominent one that is well known there. But when we see all the storms and all the turbulence within the atmosphere here near the poles is quite different than what we see in the equatorial regions. So studying this helps us to better understand how the atmosphere of Jupiter works and how these storms may develop and grow over time and then fade over time. Now, the great red spot itself, which is not pictured here, has been slowly fading over the last century, getting smaller and smaller, in fact, cutting its size about in half from what it was 100 years ago. Now, maybe studying some more storms like this will help us to better understand how the great red spot works as the largest and longest lived storm that we know of in our solar system. And here we can see all sorts of storms and the turbulence associated with them that will help give us better understanding of Jupiter's atmosphere. So that was our picture of the day titled Jupiter's Clouds in High Definition from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.